Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna explore the Bamberg Cathedral. It is a gorgeous cathedral, and I think you're gonna really enjoy this. The official name of the Bamberg Cathedral is the Bamberger Dome St. Peter und St. Georg. It was founded in the year 1002 by King and later Emperor Heinrich II and consecrated in 1012. After the first two cathedrals burned down in the 11th and 12th centuries, the current structure, a late Romanesque building with four large towers, was built in the 13th century. The cathedral is about 94 meters long, 28 meters wide, and 26 meters high, and the four towers are each about 81 meters high. Due to its long construction process, several styles were used in different parts of the cathedral, particularly the Romanesque and Gothic ones. Between these two styles is the transitional style. The eastern towers were originally lower, but raised to the western tower heights after 1766 by steep pointed gables, added by architect Johann Jakob Michael Kuschel. The western towers are early Gothic. The cathedral has a choir at each end. The eastern choir is the oldest part of the cathedral, still in pure Romanesque style. The western choir is early Gothic, and its vault was built in 1232. The east chancel, elevated due to the presence of a crypt beneath, is dedicated to St. George. This symbolizes the Holy Roman Empire. Of the figures adorning the southern choir screen, the first three apostle pairs are attributed to the stonemasons who made the Gennadim Fort. The others and the twelve prophets on the northern screen reflect a later style. The choir stalls with the carved chimeras and lions date from the 14th century. The fresco in the apse is much younger. It was created in 1927-1928. The west chancel is dedicated to St. Peter, symbolizing the Pope. It contains the cathedra and behind it the grave of Pope Clement II. To the left and right are Gothic choir stalls, richly carved. In the back, the Kreutz altar dominates the choir. The figures of Jesus, Mary, Mary Magdalena, and John was created from gold-covered basswood in 1652-1653. The southern transept contains a large nativity altar made of basswood by the artist Veit Stoss in 1520-1523. It was originally intended for a church in Nuremberg, but after Reformation came to that city in 1524, the council refused to allow it to be set up. The nave, which connects the eastern and western choir, and accounts for about a third of the overall length of the church, contains the imperial tomb, the Bamberger Reite, an early 19th century pulpit and the organ. Two more notable altars are located in the side aisles, the Kirchgattendorfer altar and the so-called Schneider altar. The former is dedicated to Mary and dates from the 16th century. It came from the Protestant parish church of Kirchgattendorf in Upper Franconia, and was set up here in 1921. The latter was assembled in 1926 from various individual figures of different origin, all dating from around 1500. It is named after the statute of St. Sebastian, which is attributed to the workshop of Ryman Schneider. The Nagel Capella is the former chapter hall beneath which members of the cathedral chapter were also buried. These bronze slabs have now been moved to the walls. The chapel is used to house a nail that is supposed to have come from the true cross. This has been venerated at Bamberg since the 14th century. One of the most notable works of art of the cathedral is the tomb of Emperor Heinrich II, the founder of the cathedral, and his wife, Empress Kunigunde. It was made by sculptor Tilman Reimenschneider from polished Soinhofen limestone and marble from the Franconian Jura. It took him 14 years to carve, between 1499 and 1513. The tomb, located near the eastern choir, is slightly higher than the floor level because below there is a crypt. The tomb rises about 1.7 meters above the floor. The top is carved with the likeness of Emperor and Empress. Above is a late Gothic canopy. The carvings round the sides, reflecting the influence of Renaissance art, tell of various episodes in the lives of the imperial couple. The Empress walks across red-hot plowshares to prove her innocence after being accused of adultery. The payment of the workers who built St. Stephen, the emperor being cured by St. Benedict, the emperor's death, and the weighing of his soul by Archangel Michael. Reportedly, they are based on sketches by Wolfgang Katzheimer. Near the tomb, on the northwestern choir column, supported by an Encanthus corbel, stands an equestrian statue 
known as the Bamberg Horseman, the Bamberger Reiter. There is no consensus on who this knight on horseback really was supposed to represent. During the cathedral's long history, the favored version changed. The Romantics thought he was a German emperor from the Hohenstaufen family. The Nazis thought he was a knight who symbolized German perfection, looking towards the east for new lands to conquer. Pictures of the horseman were displayed in schools, hostels, and dwellings. It is now thought that he was probably the 11th century Hungarian king Stephen I. This is based on modern technology, which has revealed the original colors used to paint the statue. The sculptor carved only his mark into the sculpture, leaving his identity a mystery. The cathedral first had an organ in 1415. The one that was built in 1868 gave many problems and had to be rebuilt five years later, but it was kept until 1940 because of its good sound. The organ that is present in the cathedral today was built in 1976 by the organ builder Rieger. There are four angel figures in the corners of the organ cake. Numerous carvings ornament the three major portals. The Adams Fort and Merriam Fort leading into the eastern towers are each guarded by a carved Romanesque lion, a weathered remainder of Heinrich's original cathedral. The former portal sports figures of St. Stephen, Cunegunde, Heinrich II, St. Peter, and Adam and Eve. This latter is a funnel-shaped portal of the Lombardian style. The tympanum shows Mary, venerated by St. Peter and St. George, on one side and by Cunegunde and Heinrich on the other. Figures cowering in the corners are interpreted to be Bishop Eckbert, a cleric, possible cathedral provost Popol of Andex Morania, and a crusader in the center, maybe based on one Frauter Vortvinus, architect of the 1229-1231 work. The main portal, not in the west as usual due to the two-choir structure of the cathedral, but in the center of the north wall, is called Furchten Portal and open only on holy days. It accesses the northern side aisle and was started by late Romanesque artisans, but finished by early Gothic workers. The statues topping the columns are Ecclesia and Synagoga. There are also statues here of Abraham and the angel announcing the Last Judgment. The Feitsforta is a minor entryway, dated to the early Gothic period. It was inspired by the style the Cistercians had brought from France to southern Germany, as at Ebrach Abbey. The portal gives access to the southern transept. I really hope you enjoyed this tour. This is a beautiful church, and I love walking through it any chance I get. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. Make sure you click the bell icon so you'll get noticed when I post new videos. I will see you next time.